Today's best country is Froggy 101. I'm Crockett. That is Justin Moore. His newest coming off of his new album, Off the Beaten Path. September 17th, it hit stores. And I'm on the phone right now with Justin Moore. What's up, buddy? <laughs> we do, man. We're excited about it. It's um, I'm really, really proud of the album. Uh, it's probably my most diverse album yet. And I, I don't want to scare my fans, but uh, we're not going to cross over or anything like that. But I do think we cut some songs on this album that, you know, I probably wouldn't have cut earlier in my career. And uh, look forward to everybody hearing it. I was going to say, uh, it's been you've been quoted a few times saying this is going to be a little something different for your fans. Now, I, for me personally, you're my favorite artist in country music. I have all your CDs, love everything. Uh-huh. I've got to hear five uh, five tracks off the new album, and man, this album is rocking so far from what I've heard. Wow, thank you for playing that, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, you know what, we. The music business obviously is ever changing, and, and what's on the radio is different than what was on the radio when I started out in this business. And I'm a fan of people who make different albums each time. And uh, you know, we we put 16 songs on this album, so it, they gave us a lot of space to try some different things and do some different things. So the nucleus of this album is still what people are accustomed to hearing from me, but it was important to us all the while staying true to who I am as an artist. Uh, to, to grow our fan base to a level it's never been. And I, I, I think we did that with some of the song choices on this album. So, Speaking of the new album, I see it just going to be some uh, guest vocals, Miranda Lambert's and Charlie Daniels. Yeah, anytime you can have uh, one, let alone two future Hall of Famers uh, on an album, it's uh, it's a good thing. So yeah, I'm thrilled to have both of them on there. I'm, I'm good friends with Miranda, and I've, I've gotten to know uh, Charlie, a, a little bit over the years, and you know, uh, you know, I, I'm thrilled to have them both on there, and they're both great songs. And, and, you know, it, for me to have a, a song on my record that I wrote, that uh, you know, Charlie Daniels, who's one of my heroes, is on, is is one of the highlights of my career. So uh, you have Charlie Daniels. You say he's one of your heroes. Do you ever still get starstruck in this business? Like, is there anybody you want to meet or you have meet that you just you didn't know what to do? I do, you know. I mean, I, most of them, I know, it, you know, obviously we're peers and, and we see each other a lot. But, um, you know, somebody like a Charlie Daniels who's a, a living legend, uh, you know, you just kind of stand there and you go, oh, it's Charlie Daniels. Like, Charlie Daniels, you know. So there's a, there's a couple of those guys out there, obviously, that uh, you just – are kind of in all, uh, you know. So do you feel the pressure? So you're singing with jo- Charlie Daniels. Do you feel the pressure? Do you feel like you need to tone it down a little bit? Do you feel like you're better than him? Not in the sense that, you know, you're more entitled, but do you feel like you have to tone it down because you don't want to stand up Charlie Daniels, or did he stand you up right up and down? Oh, Lord, no. I don't have to worry about that. He's, he's, he'd take me to the cleaners <laughs> any day of the week. So. <laughs> Um, no, in all honesty, every time he sings the last verse of, the, of this song called For Some Old Redneck Reason, and when I wrote that song, in particular that verse, I was going, I have to get Charlie Daniels on this somehow. I, I just has to happen. I, he's the guy to sing this. And I, I literally, I thought, I, if, if uh, he don't want to sing this, I don't mind he put this verse on this song. It was just so him. And unfortunately, uh, he did it. And, uh, every time I listen to it, I get goosebumps. It's just so cool to hear him on a song that I, I wrote. So uh, how, how how did you get him on there? What was the process? Did you just call him up? Was it something simple, or did you like have to bait him in it? Well, we happened to be playing a show with him uh, a, a few weeks after I wrote the song last summer, and uh, I didn't I hadn't even started recording music for this album, but I knew that this song was going to be on the album, and I, I said, you know what, I'm just going to ask him. If it's a no, it's a no, you know. But I, I want to at least, you know, give it a whirl. And that's Mr. Daniels. I don't know if you remember me, but I met you at the Grand Ole Opry uh, a few years ago, and he goes, hey, Justin, what's happening? I'm going, man, he knows my name. That's got to be something and, cool right there. That, uh, that right there. One of the biggest so country legends knows who you are and remembers you. Yeah, it was so cool. And, um, Anyway, I said, I, I wrote this song. I know this is probably not the most appropriate time to ask you this, but I wrote this song. Uh, I, I would be honored for you to sing on, and, and uh, it's just all you. And uh, he said, what's it called? And I told him, and he said, oh, I'd never sing a redneck song. And he kind of laughed. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he goes, no. He goes, I don't even need to hear it. And he goes, just tell me when and where, and I'll be there, buddy. So I was on cloud nine for for a, a 
few months after that, I think. But uh, and then you know, as far as the the process of it, he did, he had a he had surgery and had a pacemaker put in about the time we were going to do it. And so I'm thinking, oh no, he's probably not going to do this. But obviously, he he was he was right on top of it. He was right out of the hospital and did it. And, um, you know, I had the opportunity. He he called me. Um, uh, just after he had done it, and, and uh, was paying me all kinds of compliments, and I, that's something you don't even know how to take, there, you know. But uh, it was it was pretty special. Now you told that story pretty cool, calm, and collective. But I gotta imagine when you were actually asking him, you were you stuttering a lot, and like were you were you fumbling over your words and playing with your hands in a weird way? Well, yeah. I mean, I was back <laughs> to drive. I was back home. I was driving somewhere with my wife, and. Uh, Charlie Daniels came up on my phone, and I go, would you just look at that? <laughs> what in the world? And uh, so he uh, he was so compliment, complimentary of me. I, like you said, I, I was kind of fumbling around. I, had, I said, I'm just honored to, to say hello to you. I, and he goes, oh, I'm just a dumb country boy from, <laughs> from the <laughs> South. And, and uh, so anyway, it was obviously, uh, again, it's one of the, the coolest moments of my career. Uh, one of the highlights to have him you know, obviously on that song and get to know him a little bit. Speaking of your wife, your wife picked out, what did she pick out? Point at you or was it Till My Last Day? She picked out uh, Small Town Heaven and uh, and Till My Last Day, so all my number ones she's so, picked. So you can say she she's got an ear for music. She does. You know what? She has an unbiased, uh, not no calculated opinion of, of music, whereas I overanalyze everything, you know, and that's that's what we all do in this business. Instead of just going off our gut like we should, which is what she does, we all, you know, we all nitpick it to death. And, and uh, so she's, she's got a pretty good track record. So, unfortunately, she gave the seal of approval for Point at You and you know, this week it'll be another top ten record for us, and hopefully more. The new the new CD is coming out September seventh. You just released the cover art. It looks like a movie poster. <laughs> well, it was my goal uh, to actually uh, look tall for once in my life, <laughs> and uh, and so uh, the photographer did a did a pretty good job, maybe of making that happen. But no, I'm excited about it. I, you know, it's um, you know the fact that we've got to do some our third album now is it's crazy to me but you know you, you hope to get one song out there when you first start out and then you hope to just put one album out that does okay and you know for us to be you know putting our third one out there our first two have both gone gold which just doesn't happen anymore in this business you know people don't buy them like they used to and uh you know to have the success that we've had i i truly do feel so blessed. It, it, it just is. It's a, it's unbelievable to me that we've kind of gotten to a point where we've, uh, or not kind of, we've gotten to a point where we can go headline arenas. It's it just, it, it's mind boggling. It really, truly is. Well, you sound like a very humble guy, and our audience can come see you this Friday at the Wayne County Fair. Justin, your CD comes out September 17th off the beaten path. Cannot wait to hear the whole thing in its entirety. Thanks for joining the show. Hey, thank you for having me, buddy, and we look forward to seeing you guys. Like this.